10, Chaplin 12, John's Fury 5, 10. Let's take it away now for race number eight. It's the big one, the St Ledger. Ex New Zealander Waiwira Marika and uh, currently with bookies is just over yours for theirs. In fact, about that $2.20 price and is absolutely dominating the betting. Uh, Antonia about a point outside of each way, as is John's Fury, and Aquin Bale is probably the next behind those. So while we're in Marika, dominating this uh, feature race, it's Group 2, $25,000 to the winner, and has been won over the years by some marvellous greyhounds, including the great uh, Zoom Top, Glider's Son, Promises Free, at Mighty Bitch Winifred Bale, and last year by the speedster Els Commando. Now, the last couple are going forward. Dylan set, so is Chaplin. John's Fury on the outside, and they're ready to jump. The 98s and Ledger final, why we're a Marika in won the hot pot. Racing now. Why we're a Marika left well, so did Aquin Bale, and Dylan was nicely away. Aquin Bale is going to lead them. Aquin Bale stormed to the front from Why we're a Marika. Dylan goes to third, and then Chaplin followed by Antonia John's Fury, Crystal Light, Pascali Bale last of all. The Victorian down the back. Aquin Bale out by four lengths. Dylan in second position. Why we're a Marika the fence. Then Antonia followed by Chaplin and Crystal Light. Aquin Bale led for home. Why we're a Marika's coming at it. Why we're a Marika and Dylan, why we're a Marika? Why we're a Marika wins the St. Ledger. Second, Dylan Aquin Bale in third position. Close up was Antonia Chaplin, John's Fury, Crystal Light, and Pascali Bale was last. Why we're a Marika takes out the 1998 St. Ledger final in what was a, uh, a very, very quickly run race in the early part. Aquin Bale storming out of the two box. Opening up a big lead, why we're a Marika and Dylan sat behind the Victorian, and why we're a Marika knuckling down to his task, pegging back Aquin Bale over the concluding stages to grab the money. Two dollars ten and one twenty for why we're a Marika. Five second Dylan, two dollars eighty. Two third Aquin Bale, two dollars ten. They've run thirty and sixty four, and splits of five fifty three and fourteen oh six. And the margins are three quarters each way. Well, it was uh, backed on track like a certainty. And uh, $2.10 and $1.20 certainly dominated uh, the betting in this very, very prestigious race, the St. Ledger, and a marvellous win by the favourite. Those super factor numbers 1, 5, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Why, we're a Marika by noble talent from Lemon Pearl, uh, was uh, bred in New Zealand, born in New Zealand and is owned by Ice Strumple, trained by Harry Hampson from Riverston, and another feature win to this trainer from the Riverston uh, area, who's been certainly one of the great trainers in greyhound racing. Why, we're a Marika, Dylan, Aquin Bale certainly uh, had the favourite backers in their mouth in the early, uh, with their heart in their mouth in the early part of the race. By golly, she set a great tempo in front, but why, we're a Marika was far too strong and takes out the St Ledger. One, five, two after the St Ledger of 98. Well done, thank you very much, Pete. Uh, yeah, I think the first greyhound bred in New Zealand to win uh, St Ledger for 20-odd years, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it might be right. Now, uh, well, we were a Marika, the winner there in Sydney. It's been a wonderful night, hasn't it, so far? Globe Derby's next. Punters, let's have a look at the market on race number uh, six on the card. And number one here is showing at $10, Why Milka Mookow, who was a last start winner at one Tuesday afternoon. This is the Australian...